Cool. So, hey, I know you started working back with us in May, right? Yes, sir. How long, how long have you been, had you been searching for? Were you kind of new into your search? I can't remember. Um, I hadn't started searching. They had told me in May that my position was going to end uh, either at the end of that month or sometime in June. So I hadn't, I hadn't, you were, you were the start of my search. Mm -hmm. And you were in the oil and gas industry too. And you were kind of worried like, Hey, I make a lot of money. I don't have a degree too. And you were like, man, what am I going to do? <laughs> right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it, it, it ended up being a challenge. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of people were, were concerned about a cultural fit coming from that. You know, everybody thinks that, I kind of say this jokingly, everybody thinks everybody that works in oil and gas has neck tattoos and a, and a, and a rap sheet, you know what I mean? So, you know, unless you're an executive, right. And those guys, you know, they never get their hands dirty anyway, but um, you know, that was, a, that was the challenge really through this whole process. Mm -hmm. At what point did you say to yourself, okay, I need some help. And you called in us. Um, really before we started, I think I reached out to, uh, to tim's wife i can't remember her christina. name now. christina um mm -hmm. or I, I clicked on the thing for linkedin to rewrite a resume mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and then her and a couple more reached out and so i talked to um derek maybe i think mm -hmm. and then and then yeah. we had a three-way call with with you tim as well and uh i don't i don't know we, i don't think we were necessarily uh we me and my wife and i were necessarily uh 100 sold but i think we felt like doing something right was mm -hmm. better than just clicking apply on indeed over and over again so um so i, I mean i guess we, we kind of saw the value uh before we even started looking and then once we really got into it probably like uh two or three weeks into it is like, okay this is this is pretty neat how this works and, and what they've shown me and uh so it didn't take long i don't i don't think for me yeah a lot of people think sometimes like man if i just had a good resume but now, and I'm glad, you know, we got to partner and stuff because now, you know, dude, that's not, that's, that's not the way to get a job. So how, where right. do you think, you know, I, I know, you know, walk people through how, how it panned out for you. Right. Cause I remember you said, Tim, it worked just like you thought it would. You yeah. know, what was it? We optimized your profile. We had your scripts, right. We knew who we were targeting and then actually you know, just using tactics and strategies, you literally went right to the gatekeeper essentially and got brought in, right? Sure, sure. So I think I realized, of course, you send the first kind of cold message, if you will, mm -hmm. and then you start looking and you're like, okay, every time your phone buzzes, you're like, oh, that's not them, that's not them, you know? And so I think <laughs> probably, I, I don't know, sometime like maybe two or three weeks into it, you have a few networking calls with people that you know, mm -hmm. you know, people that I went to school with or worked with. Um, and mine was mine was a little more limited, I think, because I was trying to leave the really the only industry I'd ever yeah. worked in. Um, and then I, I guess one day I got an interview set up with a with a job that I ended up turning down. Um, mm -hmm. But it's kind of like, holy hell, that just kind of that came out just the way Tim and Kara <laughs> told me that it would. Even though you don't realize that it's going, you don't necessarily see every step exactly the way that that it's described to you until you actually, you know, I guess, until you do, I guess, you know, it took a few weeks and you're like, wow, this actually, this does work. I think the biggest thing is, is to buy in that it's a numbers game. 100%. You may have to yeah. connect with, I think I had 120 LinkedIn connections. I have almost 700 now. Yeah. Um, and I still get in the habit of scrolling through and connecting with people and just saying, Hey, thanks for connecting. You know, I have no mm -hmm. intention of, of reaching out for a discussion or anything just it's just kind of a habit now but uh yeah it just and, kind of clicks one day and you talk to you know having people in the group too you could mm -hmm. connect with all of them on linkedin who sure. they're just like you you know they have a lot of experience connected to a lot of people um mm -hmm. and then kara's got the the yeah. next one so you ended up did you switched industries didn't you so i did where, yeah where did you end up how long did it take you and where did you end up going? Uh, I think it took, um, looks like a little over 90 days, right? I, I believe it took 90 days to accept, but I turned, mm -hmm. uh, I turned two official offers down mm -hmm. and I declined to advance to the next stage and two other companies. So I think the, the first 
the first one I turned down was probably like 48 or 50 days into it. Mm -hmm. um, we had the first interview. Everything went well. They wanted to relocate to an area that's not a good fit for me and my family. So, I mean, that that would have been an interview with the vice president at that point for that company. So that took like 48 days or so. Um, and it's nice too, right? Like not feeling desperate because if you don't have help, sometimes it's like, if you've been going and doing it on your own, you might've just been like, Hey babe, we're moving to Kansas city or, or something yeah, like, going. Hey, this, this is Go the wherever, only thing I got, you know? Is, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and that was the thing too. I, you know, I could still work in oil and gas if I wanted to move mm -hmm. to West Texas and that's not where we want to be. So that was kind of already in our mind, but you're right. Like, like I said, just the peace of mind, like even whether it works or doesn't work. And I think it worked for me just knowing that you're doing something makes mm -hmm. you sleep better at night versus thinking you're doing nothing. So, yeah. um, yeah. but I ended up in, in the pest control industry care something that I never ever thought I would do. I didn't realize how big of a business this is. The company I work for is, is Rollins. They own Orkin and a bunch of the other ones, mm -hmm. like a $2 billion a year company. I mean, it's, it's a pretty and, serious deal. You know, we won't go into all the details, but, you got a nice six figure salary and a lot of incentives too that, you know, yes, who would have thought, you know, coming yes, from sir. oil and gas, yeah. cause I know you were worried about that. You worked in yes, oil sir. and gas forever and to get back to that high income that you were at. So, Hey, what did you find the most valuable? If there was just one thing, right. The most valuable of working together, what do you think that would be? Um, well, I think the scripts um, were the easiest probably the the easiest value right to mm -hmm. recognize because you i'm not very active on social media i'm not a big fan of small mm -hmm. talk or you know kind of kind of cutting it up so it was kind of simple like well this is what they tell me to say i'm going to cut and paste it and change <laughs> yeah. the name and change the company and press send. yeah and so there was some easy value there but like i said for us it was really a mental game it was the peace of mind like okay I got an interview. Let me call with Kara and let, let me text Tim real quick. Oh, what if they ask me this kind of deal? And just like I said, even if a lot of times it's almost like y'all brought it out of me versus mm -hmm. telling me what to say, but it just that peace of mind knowing that, that it's there and that we're, we're working towards something was probably, yeah. probably the other value to me. Because a lot of people will say, well, I've already done that. I've already reached out to people on LinkedIn, but no one wants to talk to me. And then we're like, well, what's your profile look like? What are yeah. you saying? How are you facilitating? You know, how are you doing all these things? So that's awesome that, that you got value out of that. For sure. Yes, sir. So John, you know, a lot of times people will watch these testimonials and they're, they're not sure about whether or not they're going to invest in themselves, right? So if they're watching this, what advice would you give them for someone who's considering working with us? Sure. Well, I think the big thing for all of us is that none of us are entry level. So I think we all have some confidence in ourselves and you think that well I, i've gotten jobs before i've gotten careers before i know how to do this um but i think it's it's important to realize that you guys are experts at networking at, at i mean at finding a new job frankly and so um you know you have to to humble yourself to say i, I need the help you, you have no problem um paying for your college or paying for your PMP or your, or your CSM or anything else. But then it comes to this and you think, Oh, I, oh, I can figure this out. I can interview, you know? And so mm -hmm. um, I think you just have to be honest with yourself that, you know, these guys know what they're doing and this is a, 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 a skill that they'll teach me that's worth every penny. Awesome, man. Thanks. For well, Hey, thank you so much for sharing your story. I remember, you know, everyone's worried about different stuff. And I remember yours was the degree, right? You're like, Tim, I don't have a degree. And I'm like, John, right. you've been really well, I successful. Well, I, still haven't finished, I still haven't finished it. You know, my, I have my bachelor's, but, you know, everybody mm -hmm. has that. So, yeah, that was a, yes, sir. That was a big concern. Well, awesome, man. Well, thanks so much for sharing your story. We really appreciate it. Well, I thank everything y'all did for me.